I think we're live, sorry. Um, couple of minutes delay. Um, I'm very excited and actually a little bit nervous because that's my first Facebook Live interview. So, and I've had a couple of um, uh, technical challenges, let's say. So hopefully I will have the last words <laughs> on that one. So as you tune in, uh, hey Ryan, you know, just say hi. Um, before I bring Anton on. Um, so just say hi and uh, hello, just send us some hearts, whatever you wish. Um, and um, as you tune in, you know, tell us where you are tuning in from. We love to know that. And if you watch the replay, then hashtag replay, uh, just, or just so Anton and I know that you've watched the replay. And of course, any questions, um, uh, you know, throughout the interview or after, please fire and we'll come back to you. Um, so before I bring on um, Anton, I just wanted to give you a little bit of context as to why we are doing this live interview. And um, so basically uh, a few months ago, I invested into a Kenjin water, Kenjin, Kengen, I never know how we pronounce it. Uh, let's say Kenjin water uh, system. And um, so I've been using it for um, different, um, hey Mandy, <laughs> for different things, you know, um, clean uh, drinking water, but also beauty water, um, cooking, um, cleaning and all of that. But that's not what we are going to go into today um, because, you know, that's the first one. I, it, it's really good for people to understand like what is actually Kenshin water? What is she talking about? And what is, what is, what is so special about it? And um, so we'll see if we um, have actually, just say hi as you tune in guys. Hey Ash. And uh, yeah, um, we'll see if, um, I would love for Anton, um, you know, to um, go into some kind of, um, you know, details about how can I actually um, help some of my clients, you know, with regards to energy levels, focus and concentration, you know, the, the, the brain function and, and digestive health. But it's a lot actually to put in about hopefully, um, you know, 15 uh, minutes. So I'm going to stop talking and I'm going to bring on Anton if I manage to do that. Woo! You're here. <laughs> Oh my God, I was, I had a couple of minutes of like getting very warm. Oh, I've been through all this with Mandy. I like, it just, it's bizarre. It's like every time you do it, something is different to the last time you did it. Um, I thought I'd cried on my laptop, but what, now why you can't, why a laptop? Anyway, let's not go into that. Let's just get on with it because everyone's there. So anyway. Yeah, I'm... exactly. Exactly. Well, thank you so much for, um, for coming on and taking some of your time today. I've not actually introduced you, so let me introduce Dr. Anton Chinizo. I don't know if I pronounced that right. <laughs> I'll put the glasses on. Oh, look, there we go. That's better light. That's good. Oh, That's better. 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 Awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. And um, yeah, so it's dark behind you because you are based in Sydney. And so thank you for tuning on. And um, you have been a chiropractor for about 30 years and always, um, you know, correct me if I'm wrong, but like into health and fitness and had um, for, for a number of years, actually, even before coming across Kenjin water, but, uh, or Kengen water, whatever we say. Um, but the, the kind of look, the fundamental um, pillar that water is actually, um, before talking about anything else. And, um, and so um, I gave a little bit of context to people before you um, managed to come on. <laughs> um, and yeah, I would love for you today to kind of like um, shed some light on that mystery of what is Kenshin water? Because um, I did not know, actually, as a health professional, I did not really know what was um, Kenjin water before I invested into that, that system. Um, you know, if you can explain that and say, uh, you know, why it's so special. Um, I know that we have discussed together, but let's see how we are getting on with time. Um, I, you know, lots of my clients, uh, I mean, yeah, quite a few of my clients come initially for some physical symptoms and 
And uh, some of them are, you know, energy levels, like um, how to boost, you know, the focus concentration. And, um, and they have, uh, you know, niggling things going on in terms of digestive health. But if we don't have time to cover that today, you know, we can just do another live or uh, we can just, you know, do another series. Um, but if we could start by the beginning, that would be amazing. Sure. Can you hear me all right? Yes. Great. So, yeah, yeah, look, it's a big topic, so we're going to have to be pretty focused, <laughs> otherwise we'll go on forever. Um, and also, I, you know, we're both quite passionate about it, so we also could, you know, chat. So, yeah, I get, just really, yeah, let's start where you started, which is what is Kangen water? Well, Kangen uh, means return to source in Japanese, so it's kind of a brand, if you like. I mean, I'm going to say things that may be a little technical here and there, but we'll definitely get down to, like, what does it mean for the people listening kind of thing. So, because uh, it's basically electrolyzed reduced water. In other words, water that's come through a filter and then had an electric charge put through it in a, in a machine that sits next to your sink, okay? Like in, in, in a nutshell, but we'll get into what that all means a bit more. Um, so, uh, so just very quickly, you know, my background, you know, 30 years as a chiropractor or a bit, bit more now, but over 30 years and a long interest though in uh, the quality of the water I drink. So I've had a lot of different water filters and most people in this, you know, day, day and age, if you like, you have either a water filter, the, anything from a little Brita thing on their, their sink, or they might have under, you know, something under the sink, reverse osmosis. They might have a, they might get water delivered. They might buy bottled water. There's all, everyone's kind of like, you know, thinking water, which is great on one level, but the quality of the water and is, is what's actually crucial. Yeah. Because hydrating your body uh, effectively is absolutely crucial for your health. And I'm a really big believer, you know, in kind of keeping things simple, if they can be kept simple, and dealing with the fundamentals. So as a chiropractor, obviously, that's about the alignment of your spine and the function of your nervous system. Your nervous system controls everything, so you want it to function well. But, for, and, but from everyday use, the first most important thing in life is air, breathing. And then the very next most important thing for our survival uh, is water. So the quality of that water is incredibly important because our bodies are about 72% water and our brains, and we'll get onto that in a little bit about concentration and things, is 80, over 80% water. Yeah. So that's why, you know, oh, I'm getting a headache, I, might be, I must be dehydrated, is actually kind of a real thing. There's other reasons for headaches, obviously, but, uh, but that's why that is a, is, a, is a thing that can happen. So... So what is Kangen water? Now, I'm, I'm, if you, people are out there going, well, I've never heard of this, or, you know, what are they on about? Or, you know, I could use terms like hydrogen-rich water, and all of it's just a bit like bamboozly, never heard this before. And, you know, please forgive yourselves, because guess what? Most people haven't, <laughs> okay? Yeah. I mean, even as a healthcare practitioner, in the complementary fields, are interested in nutrition and health and wellness and holistic care. I... Um, and interested in water, still did not hear about this technology until about four or five years ago. Not because mm. it's new. The technology has been around for decades. Yeah. Um, the company, Anagic, who makes uh, Kangen machines is a 45-year-old Japanese company. That's not a new company. It's a family-owned Japanese company. It's been going for 45 years. But the technology was originally developed for use in hospitals. So it's actually a medical-grade device. And then after 20 years, you know, People went, well, you know, excuse me, could I please have some in my home? Because it looks like a, you know, and they went, oh, yeah, it's, it's, yeah, great idea. Let's do that. So, I mean, I'm being a bit clear, but you get the idea. So, but it's still most people haven't heard about it. And if you went to your doctor, he'd, he'd be forgiven if he didn't know much about it, because it's not out there as common knowledge, even though the technology is there. So what is it? Very quickly and simply, um, you've got a machine sitting on your bench or uh, there, you can attach it anytime, anywhere to, to the tap. And the water, instead of drinking out of the tap, it comes through, comes through a filter, takes out your chlorine and all your, you know, uh, all sorts of, you know, nasties basically in the water, anything that you don't want. And then it goes past these seven to eight uh, titanium and platinum plates, gets this massive electric charge, and this is where the fun begins. This is where it's this different level of technology, because when it does that, it changes the molecular structure of the water. So if you say, what's, you know, what's the difference between this and a, any other water filter, it's a massive difference. It's like, 
Uh, the, the analogy I use is, you know, we all had phones, in, you know, going back to the 80s, I guess, but in the, certainly by the 90s, mobile phones. Great. There you've got your mobile and you make a phone call and you make a text and you're happy. It's fantastic. It's great technology. Okay. And then in 2009, along comes Steve Job and he, uh, Jobs and he holds up this thing, which I can't hold because I'm talking to it, called a smartphone. Everyone's like, whoa, what's that? I was like, well, it's basically a computer in your pocket and it's a mega powerful computer, as we all know. So yes, it's a phone. Yes, you can make phone calls and you can send texts, but all of a sudden, it's a whole different level of technology. Well, that's the analogy I like to use with this. So yes, it's, there's a water filter there, and yes, you're just coming out of, this water comes out of your tap and then something happens to it, and all of a sudden, it's a whole different story. So what is that story? So the water, and I'm going to a little bit of this now, because really, once you know this, then you can apply the principle to all these aspects of your health or understand why it impacts your health. Uh -huh. which is that when it comes through these plates or past the plates, gets this massive electric charge, and they took the concept from lightning striking bodies of water and realised that it created a change in the water, it ionised the water, because that's happening all day, every day on the planet, about 8 million lightning strikes a day on planet Earth, just if you want a number. <laughs> yeah. so, um, uh, but this is a lot safer than a lightning strike. <laughs> So, um, yeah, what happens when that happens changes the molecular structure of the water. We all know water is H2O. Like if there's any chemistry, most people know it's H2O is water. Great. Mm -hmm. So you've got H and then two O's, hence H2O. And it, it splits off um, the hydrogen, a hydrogen atom or molecule, if you like. And that, um, so you've got hydroxyl HO and a free hydrogen molecule there. What does that mean? Well, it, what it means is that the water becomes a massively powerful antioxidant. So we'll go into a little bit of that in a second. But the other thing it does, it, when water comes through your pipes, it comes through in basically, because it's been compressed and, you know, there's, frankly, it's mixed up with a whole lot of stuff, chlorine amongst many other chemicals or fluoride yeah. or whatever it You're is. You're right, okay? yeah. You've got, you've got a great big bunch of water molecules. It's not just little individual H2Os, it's a great bunch of them. And there, but your cells have, uh, have pores called aquaporin, if you want that, and that allows about four to five mo water molecules at a time to be able to get through that hole. Think, here's a hole, here's a bunch of molecules, can I get through? Now, if I'm this big, the answer is no, but if I'm this big, the answer is yes. Right. So what, what this has done is split up the clusters of water molecules so that all of a sudden that water that you've just drunk actually gets into your cells. So... So, so is that we, what we mean, uh, sorry to interrupt, is that what we yeah. mean by um, micro-clustered? Is that exactly. it's kind of like broken down to tiny bits so that it can yep. go through what, so yeah. Exactly, no, that's great. Thanks for bringing that up. So you've got clusters of molecules and you're, you're breaking them up into micro-clusters, small clusters. So the first thing is this water <coughs> is super hydrating. In other words... It's one thing to drink water. It's another thing for it to get into your cells and effectively hydrate your body, which is why when we drink, say, tap water, depends where you are. I mean, tap water varies massively around the world. Um, it often feels kind of, it can feel quite heavy. Like it just, you know, we've got good quality tap water, to be honest, here in, in Sydney, for example, but it's still got chlorine and all that. But it's, uh, but at least you can drink it, <laughs> okay? But it sloshes around, like you feel it, you feel bloated, like it can't be absorbed that easily. Whereas right. this is very, this water will taste very soft and kind of activated. And it's like, oh, it's easy to drink. And therefore, you can also drink a whole lot more of it, which is crucial. But it's getting into your cells, which means it takes nutrients into the cells. And that same process also pulls waste products back out of your cells. So you're able to detoxify your body at a cellular level. Right. So when it comes to, say, digestive health, which we can touch on, that's why it is uh, so effective there. The other thing the machine's doing is it's changing the pH of the water, potential hydrogen, releasing more hydrogen at the touch of a button. And we're all kind of aware of alkaline water or we keep hearing about alkaline water. Well, this is alkalized water. So rather than the bottled water at a supermarket that says alkaline on it, and you think, oh, I've heard this is good for me, only to be told, oh, you can drink too much of that, which is true because it's actually got calcium, magnesium, silica, but the big thing they're putting in it is bicarbonate of soda because that's what will make it alkaline. Mm -hmm. well, I don't know how much bicarb you want to drink, but I don't want to drink a whole lot of bicarbonate of soda all day, every day. And in fact, it really will upset your system big time. So you can get quite sick on that, actually. 
Whereas this yeah. is literally pure water. So, and then that last one about the antioxidant power is just, to me, it's like the, the ace. It's just like, that's the thing that really has this massive effect on your health, body's health. So let's maybe ask me, you know, you came back to some specific things for your clients and the people listening maybe. So maybe let's touch on that again, Audrey. Yeah, yeah, sure. Um, can you actually, um, I think uh, to, perhaps the, the first two uh, basic questions that people would ask me is, but like what, like how, how different is it from a water filter? Like, what is actually that, that system, that, that device, like? Yeah, so as I said, well, the first thing is it has a water filter in it. <laughs> okay, so yeah. they want a water filter? It's got a water filter. So, so it's, it's easy to do water. this, but it does other things. Oops. Exactly. So the water filter's in there because, yes, they do want it. You do, you do want the chlorine and all those other particulate matter. You want bacteria taken out. You want all the, you know, your, your tap water's got mass, you know, anything from 100 to 200 different chemicals potentially and it just depends where it's come from you know if it's coming for if there's runoff if the water's coming from across farmland it's going to bring pesticides with it i mean it just goes on and on and on so so yes you do want to filter but that's built into the machine and but then it's once it's cleaned the water then it's going through this electrolysis process being uh you know having this electric charge and changing the molecular structure of the water and that's where you go into a whole different level of effectiveness basically mm-hmm Awesome. Uh, I'm just checking the time and uh, why don't we leave it as that just for, um, just for today? Um, because I feel like um, we could be going into like even more super interesting and fascinating details, but I'm conscious of, um, of time. What do you think? We could, I think let's uh, just touch very quickly because I, I know that's a lot of information, but it's the, once you've got those basics, literally in a couple of minutes, I, it'd be good to just touch on, well, why would it be good for your brain or why would it be good for your digestive system? Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Go ahead. Go you know, ahead. Because people want to know, okay, well, that's fascinating or not really, but tell me, bottom line, why is it, you know, what's it going to uh, do for Why me? is it good for me? Why should I be <laughs> listening? Yeah. Yes, exactly. Go ahead. Why, yeah. So look, very, very briefly, you know, I went into all that about the hydration ability. So, the, so why would it be good for your energy level in your brain? Well, your brain, if it's 80% plus water, it loves water and oxygen. Like you deprive yourself of oxygen and the brain, you know, that's, we all know that doesn't work very well for our, for our bodies. So, so this water, it gets split into hydroxy, but it also releases some oxygen and it's releasing the hydrogen for the antioxidant power but it's hydrating your cells so effectively so your brain just sucks this water up there's a dr corinne allen if anyone wants to look up her dr corinne allen kangan water and the brain and she has a brain rehab clinic in the u.s for people with you know suffering from strokes accidents like we're talking major brain damage and giving them kangan water is a major part of her complementary healthcare protocol really Wow. And it's a, it's a fascinating and very moving uh, documentary because the results are just off the wall. I mean, people crawling into a clinic because they can't walk because they're paralyzed down one side and 12 days later they're walking out. I mean, you're just like, what is going on <laughs> yeah, here? Yeah, miracle. Right? Yeah. yeah, yeah, some seriously amazing stuff. And so that's, you know, when you look at it's always sometimes interesting to go look at an extreme like someone with a lot of physical damage and getting a result because mm -hmm. our everyday person you and i we're not at that level but hey we drink this water and all of a sudden you think oh that that brightened me up okay it's, it's still yeah. the same principle it's just another end you know, it's just different parts of the spectrum but that's why it's going to give you energy and that concentration focus you get yeah. more oxygen into your system and all of that on right. the digestive side because i know that was the other thing i we mentioned we'd touch on yeah um uh there's uh, Mr. Shinya, Dr. Shinya, rather, the inventor of the colonoscopy and endoscopy 40 years ago. This is the guy, the Japanese guy actually invented these things, done over 300,000 colonoscopies. Part of, uh, you know, with his team in the US and, and, and Japan, um, part of his rehab protocol, protocol for anyone suffering from, you know, your bowel cancers and all these things and people with crappy digestive systems, okay, is their diet, obviously, and kangen water. Like he's just like, if you drink this stuff and hit the before and afters on that, on what their colon actually, you know, it's just returned to full, vibrant, 
nice pink clean colon as opposed to black crappy colon okay because it's basically the part of that detox process that absorbability that ability to get nutrients in to your body because when you eat food like it's still got to get into your cells how's it going to get there right and Mm. the ability for your body to excrete waste effectively are the crucial things that allow your body to function and obviously enhance your energy level you know, just if so that's I, I just wanted to touch on those two things and that's but that's the principle of it there oh that's amazing I, I I feel like I would actually love to dip in you know even uh further into every single of these topics and so many others um um but um let's call it um yeah. let's call it a uh great first uh Facebook live interview uh with you Anton and uh, if you don't mind, at some point when you have time, if you can drop the names of those, uh, if, if it's possible, if you don't mind, the name of those doctors in case some yep. people yep. want to. I can put the links in, um, in the comments section of this, actually. That'll yeah. work. Yep. Awesome. Cool. Thank you so much. Yeah, and thanks, Audrey. We chat soon. Thank you so much. Yeah, thanks, thanks for everyone soon. joining us too. Really appreciate that. I couldn't see on my phone who was here, but I really Absolutely. Yeah, we'll reply to a few comments there. Bye, Anton. Good. See you. Ciao. Bye. Bye. Bye.